A study that's just come out says that Tesla is poised to disrupt the insurance market just as it has the automotive market. Is this true? If it is, then this is a many, many billion, in fact, it's a trillion dollar industry worldwide. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Is Tesla really about to disrupt the insurance market in the same way they have the automotive market? No, I think that's highly unlikely. Are they going to be able to undercut the competition? Yeah, of course. If anyone disagrees with that, they just, it's obvious. Of course they are. I mean, how do you insure someone if you don't understand them? Tesla understands their drivers better than, far better than any insurance company could possibly ever hope to. It's, it's not even close. Think about it, Tesla has the data, they don't. Tesla has the data on the way you drive. Tesla knows everything about you. If you want to give Tesla that information, they know everything about you and then they can give you a cheaper premium. So it's impossible to compete with Tesla, but that's only on Tesla cars. So Tesla can disrupt, of course, they can disrupt the market. But I think, correct me if you disagree with this, only as far as it goes as their own cars. They can collect data on their own cars, but not so much on other cars. So can they disrupt the market? Absolutely. But the thing is, Tesla didn't disrupt the car market by simply making Tesla vehicles. It basically forced everyone else to make EVs as well. Um, and the reality is, there doesn't really need to be the same shift, the same paradigm shift in the insurance market. It might affect premiums a little bit, come down by 10, 20%. It's just not really that much of a seismic change. So Tesla's disruption in the insurance market is happening. No question about it. It just won't be quite as significant as the EV disruption. But what exactly is Tesla doing right now? Well, a recent study says that Tesla is poised now. In fact, MarketWatch claims that Tesla's pioneering use of advanced telematics in assigning insurance risk may disrupt the insurance industry as much as the company has already disrupted global automotive markets. Like I said, I think that may or may not be true, but what do you think? Let me know. While many traditional insurance companies are raising rates for Tesla car owners or refusing to cover Tesla cars at all, this is very true. Rates for Tesla insurance are ridiculous. This is basically saying to Tesla, come in and take the market from us. We want you to take it. We're going to, we're basically charging a lot of money here. And this is a lot of customers are annoyed. doesn't make sense, does it? Think about it. If you go and buy a nice Tesla Model 3, what kind of driver are you likely to be? If it's a Model 3 performance, you might be more like me, a bit of a lead foot. But if it's just a standard range Model 3, you're probably not going to be that kind of driver. And the insurance rates for them are ridiculous. Anyhow, Tesla is offering its own insurance in select US states at significantly lower rates compared to the competition. And it's so much easier just to insure your car through the actual company you buy it from. I mean, I remember buying a car, right? You've got to make the call with the insurance. You call them up, you try to compare prices, you tell them all this information. You know what? So much easier if you don't have to do that. You just go to wherever you get the car from, get insurance from them. And if you know it's going to be cheaper, you would even bother looking elsewhere. Based on a driver's safety score, captured and calculated by Tesla's own proprietary software, the drivers that the company considers less risky. The score looks at driving behaviors such as following distance, aggressive turning, hard braking, seatbelt use, driving speed, and forced autopilot disengagement to determine a score from zero to 100. The higher the score for the driver, the lower the insurance rate. This is a complete paradigm shift, a complete paradigm shift. The way that insurance works now, it's idiocy. It, what do they do? I mean, here in Australia, I'm going to guess it's the same for you guys in Europe and America and New Zealand and everywhere else, right? The first thing you, they ask you is, how old are you? It's idiocy. It's just stupid. It's so it's like dinosaur way of assessing insurance risk. Now, I understand why they do this. It's because they don't have the data to do anything else. But the truth is, when you have the data, you've got to admit, you've got to admit it's it's kind of mental. Because I personally, there are so many drivers that are in their 20s that are better drivers than people in their 30s. So why would you pay a cheaper price based on simply age as a factor? It doesn't add up. That, in my opinion, is a big paradigm shift that needs to be made. It will be made when insurers have access to the data. 
Will they get access to the data? Well, it probably depends on whether or not you give it to them. Now with Tesla, I think most people might feel comfortable sharing this data. Most, not all, but most. Will you, let me know if you would actually, let me know in the comments, that'd be interesting to know. If you know, if you're gonna share your data that you get cheaper insurance. Now there will be probably one in 10 drivers who are more aggressive. I might be one of those, but shh. anyway, there will be some drivers who probably won't get cheaper premiums as a result of their driving habits being assessed by this score, the safety score. 90% at least of drivers will get cheaper premiums because it'll turn out that yeah, they drive really well. And many of them will be in their 20s. This will be a good change to the industry. It's, it's still really unfair that we charge people, young people who can least afford it, the highest insurance premiums, even if they're really good drivers. Like what about if you're say 29 years old, you don't fall, you don't fall into the category of being above 30. This is a big change in price here in Australia. If you're above 30 years old, the price premium has totally changed. You're 29 years old, maybe you've never gotten a speeding fine in your life. You've never been pulled over because you always drive well, never gotten a ticket for, you know, talking on your phone or texting on your phone, really stupid stuff like that. But we all, a lot of people have done it, but there's some people that never do that stuff. They're the people who should get a, a, an amazing premium. What about you do all the right things, you drive the right way, you pay a lot of money simply because of the fact that you're 29 years old or 25 or whatever the hell your age may be. This changes that entire paradigm. This is just an assessment, not on your age, but on how you drive. And this gives Tesla the ability to enormously undercut their competition, especially for the younger drivers. Tesla actually entered the insurance market in 2019, says Clean Technica, based on feedback that some of its customers were seeing extremely high insurance costs for insuring their Teslas. Now, unfortunately for many people in the US, Tesla doesn't offer insurance in well, most US states. Not yet, anyway. Will they? Of course they will. Why wouldn't they? This is a chance to grab a part of the market that they have the ability to basically crush the competition. I mean, if you're, like I said, if you're a younger driver, right, below the age of 35, below the age of 30, even below the age of 25, and you can prove to Tesla that you're an, you're basically the, the model driver, they'll give you cheaper insurance. Why wouldn't they? It makes total sense. So Tesla will crush it. Unfortunately, most people worldwide right now don't have access to cheaper Tesla insurance, but it's only a matter of time. I've seen price premiums for Teslas. Many people have posted them on Facebook, on social media. Some of them are insane, utterly mental. They make no sense. So this is a prime market for Tesla to come in and undercut. Traditional insurance companies use the excuse that Tesla repairs tend to cost more than those for other EVs. Have you heard that? I'm sure you've heard that. Is that really true? Well, this sometimes is, sometimes isn't. With Tesla's use of aluminium and aluminium steel alloy in its cars to reduce weight, it has taken auto repair shops time to come up to speed on how to actually repair Tesla cars. It takes a bit of time, but once they figure it out, it's not that bad. However, the lack of approved Tesla repair shops means price gouging has happened everywhere, all, not just in America, but all over the world. In New York City, says Clean Technica, there was only a single Tesla authorized repair shop in early 2018. Now there's 27 in New York City, 27. That's probably enough. In fact, Tesla is also opening its own repair shops. Now, as far as I know, there's not a whole lot of like say Toyota or General Motors or Nissan repair shops branded as that brand. Tesla was actually trying to get into that market as well. Recent repair data shows that the average annual repair and maintenance cost of a Tesla is a little bit higher than a gasoline powered car, $835 versus 652, so about 25% different. But this, in fact, 28% difference doesn't justify the massive insurance premiums. In fact, the insurance premiums that I've seen are often more than double. That doesn't justify a 28% increase in the prices. Now, MarketWatch says, that the annual insurance cost of a Tesla Model S compared to other vehicles is $4,762 per year for a 35 year old driver with a good credit record and a clean driving record. That's nearly 5,000 US dollars per year. That's insane. The national average for insurance 
is less than half that at 2000 US dollars. Now in Australia, it's a lot less than that. It's about 1000 US dollars. Now here's an interesting point. The price insurance premiums for cars like Audi and BMW, are, even their EVs are less than those for Tesla. This doesn't add up. And this is basically the insurance market just saying, Tesla, we're doing some weird things here. It's half the price to insure an Audi e-tron versus a Tesla Model S. And Tesla will say, well, thank you very much. We'll just take that customer. So this is one reason why Tesla will disrupt the market when it comes to their, their own make. Model S's, Model 3's, Model Y's, Model X, Model 2's when they arrive, Cybertruck as well, I assume. And here's part of the issue. Insurance companies, they use third-party telematics devices, mobile apps, and basically just what you tell them and your driving record, assuming you're telling the truth. Um, but none of those really actually tell you a full story. Not in the way that Tesla's sensors and Tesla's ability to track your driving can actually tell them the full risk profile of you, where you really live, where the car really is, the way you really drive. What's your real likelihood of being in an accident? And here's the thing, Tesla's prices are actually lower. Now, yeah, for some people it's not, but on average, I would say from what I've seen around 80%, people are saying the price is 20 to 40% lower than the alternative. That's a big number. In fact, Tesla insurance rates are approximately 49% lower than the competition in Texas. But here's the issue. I mean, everyone wants a 49% discount on the insurance, wouldn't you? I sure as hell would. And probably it would be easier because Tesla would say, when, when you're in a crash, it'd probably be easier for them to organize getting it repaired than trying to get some third, you know, some other insurance company that may, may or may not know your EV that well. Easier to get the manufacturer to handle that stuff. But here's the issue, like I said, it's only in 12 states. Right now, Tesla insurance is available in Arizona, California, Colorado, Illinois, Maryland, Minnesota, Nevada, Ohio, Oregon, Texas, Utah, and Virginia. Hopefully, Tesla roll out their insurance in all 52 states. Why not? I mean, think about it. It makes sense. I'm going to guess they will because they have begun this rollout. It's not like they started in 12 states. They started in only one. Now they're in 12. When What's next for them? Will Tesla have insurance available in Australia, in the UK, Europe, other countries around the world? Let's say they probably will, considering they have access to the most important metric for enabling them to accurately measure your risk and therefore give you the best possible price, your data. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, but either way, guys, this is absolutely an opportunity for Tesla to make billions of dollars, not trillions or anything like that, but yeah, they could add a couple of extra billion to their numbers every year, why not? In my opinion, this is almost a certainty to happen within the next five years.